you guys look what arrived in the mail i'm so excited i already started opening it i'm guessing that's just my order details in this cute little angels folder here it is the moment we've been waiting for if you guys follow me pretty much anywhere online especially twitter you will know that i constantly talk about how much i wished that Fiorucci would bring back the original Angels t-shirt like they had in the 90s. These stickers are so cute. Oh, I like the pink one. So cute. I decided to go for a large because I'm tall and have very broad shoulders and I'm not going to unpackage it any further because I think I'm gonna show it in an Instagram photo or something like that, so we'll see. But there's a little sneak peek for now. Hey guys, so today's outfit before I head out the door. First of all, I'm wearing my new Fiorucci t-shirt. There it is. And then I've paired it with my red American Apparel tennis skirt, which I actually got on eBay a few months ago when I found out that, you know, American Apparel were kind of like dead, even though they've sort of come back online. Also, since I get so many questions about what size I am in these, I get a size large for the length because I'm tall. Then I take it to an alterations place. It was taken in there. So she went in and actually removed entire pleats and then re-sewed the invisible zip in. And there it is. And then I've also got this cropped denim jacket on, which is black with contrast stitching, of course. Love it. Then I've got my tattoo choker with the dangly stars. Got my watch that I pretty much always wear. And moving down, I'm wearing these kind of nude slash cream tights, which are also American apparel. And I've had these for such a long time. They have these like black seams down the back. I think I need to straighten up one of them a little bit. And I just really love these tights. I need to wear them more. Then I'm just wearing my white feeler sneakers. And I did pop socks on with them as well because I find it much more comfortable than just wearing the straight tights. And also I just want to protect the feet of the tights. And I think that's everything for this outfit. Just heading out for a really quick little trip for some afternoon tea. Sunglasses on as well, of course. Can't go without those. Again, and I got the Aussie burger which has vegan bacon, a vegan egg, yes. What is this sorcery? Who knows? And cheese, tomato, all the fixins. We also got some hash browns and these really cute watermelon waters, which are 100% watermelon juice or watermelon water, I guess you could say. And here's Holly's duck burger, vegan, of course. Looks so good when she got um, vegan bacon too. Good morning guys. In my last compilation vlog, I shared a lot of outfits and you guys really liked that. So I'm going to do my best to do a lot more of sharing my outfits. Plus tons of them aren't really Instagram worthy. So I'm wearing the same choker as yesterday. My Disneyland spirit t-shirt, which is navy blue. I'll just show you the back. It's got the Disneyland logo. My favorite leggings by Zella. I'm just keeping it super comfy today. And the same sneakers as yesterday as well. And that's about it. And I'm also wearing my white cap. Get that sun protection. So I'll see you guys there.
like. It probably seems like I wear the same kind of thing all the time, but honestly, I'm just kind of making the most of the cool weather before it gets really hot here in Australia. So today I'm wearing a very typical comfy cozy outfit. In fact, I know you guys have seen this before, but here I'm wearing my gray oversized sweatshirt from the men's section on ASOS, my same old favorite leggings, and my basket heart sneakers, which I've also worn before. So nothing that new here. I'm sorry, it's not that exciting. And my cap. I'm sure you guys know why, because Sophie needs to wash her hair. Look at that, I feel like I need to pop my hat in the right way. See, like that, you know? Oh, there we go. I just put it back. We're driving to this relatively new vegan cafe in Camden today, so I will see you guys in the car. Whenever we're going out on a little bit of a drive somewhere to get breakfast or something, because the drive we're about to go on is probably about an hour long, I always grab an apple. I feel like an apple is my favorite little pre-breakfast snack. I got a loaded shake and it comes with a vegan chocolate bar of your choice. So I got this Mahalo, which is kind of like a vegan bounty. It's so good. I got a vegan caramel slice with whipped cream and it's a top a strawberry shake. It looks so good. This downward lighting is not flattering. Hey guys, so let's do an outfit as we always do. This cropped knit sweater is really old from Urban Outfitters. I got it a few years ago from, I think it was in like the clearance section. It is super cute and it's 100% cotton. It's actually quite rare that I find things from Urban Outfitters that are made from natural fibers because ain't nobody got time for acrylics and all those nasty fabrics that make you sweat. These are probably my all time favorite shorts and they have these nifty little zip up pockets but I'm just gonna leave them open. I'm wearing these sheer nude tights and then I'm wearing these ASOS platform sneakers. This little airplane necklace I got in Tokyo from a store called Acuvi or Aquivi. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. And then I'm wearing my vintage coach backpack. And that is the complete look for a Sunday out to go grab some lunch and maybe some sweet treats. So I will catch you guys there. So I got a soy tiramisu tea latte and this chai spiced vegan brownie and we've got another tiramisu latte over here and what's this called? And a London fog latte and that's like a salted caramel cookie. The mugs, I don't call that a mug, the cups are really cute, they have, they have little bunnies, it's a little running bunny and a tail. Hey guys, so time for my OOTD. First I have this black long sleeve knit top with this gold bun detailing on the cuffs. I've got these high waisted shorts. I actually wore them in another outfit recently. I haven't got my shoes on yet, but I might have a photo so you can see the boots that I'm gonna put on. My backpack is this one that I got several years ago from Topshop. And this choker is by Bauble Bar. Super simple, all black outfit for today. And we're ready to go. This is the 
Wait, what is it called? Matcha vegan matcha dream. Vegan matcha dream. And I got one too. Cheers. Very nice. Ooh. Do you want to say hello to my vlog, Vanessa? I'm with yes. Vanessa. Hi. Hello. All in that pub viewers. <laughs> So here we have our vegan cheese board and I actually think I know where they got the cheese from. That one is like an aged cashew cheese and that one looks like the kind of peppercorn one. And then over here we have the pumpkin falafel and here we've got some chips with vegan aioli. I'm so excited. Yay, let's dig in. And for dessert we got a vegan brownie and check this out, we got a corner piece. How lucky is that? And they make these in-house so I'm more inclined to try it because it might be a little bit different. Okay, so my Uber is like two or three minutes away, so I thought I would do a quick outfit for you. I'm going to meet my friend Kat for high tea at the Sir Stamford at Circular Key, so yes, very nice. Today I'm wearing this plaid pinafore dress, and I'm also wearing my vintage cherry brooch from Etsy, and because I'm wearing that, I decided not to wear a necklace, and I've got a couple of my rings on, this long-sleeved black mock neck from ASOS, which is pretty old, then I've got these sheer tights on with like a back seam, my Doc Martens, and then my little vintage coach backpack. And that is today's look. And I think my Uber's here, so I'll see you guys there. And she's got this really cute top on that she got in Japan. Oh, very cute. We both got lemon lime and bitches. It's like my favorite drink. Cheers. So our high tea has arrived and I'll quickly talk through mine. We've got a selection of vegan sandwiches. Pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> And then these sweet things, we've got a dark chocolate covered strawberry, that is a mango rice pudding, dark chocolate cup, and then that's like a blueberry chocolate cup or something. And they do have some kind of like uh, breast cancer awareness events going on recently, so I think that's why it's got like the pink ribbon. And then some vegan scones with jam, and I requested that they bring me some dairy free margarine. And then I'll show you guys Kat. Kat just got the regular menu, looks so cute, look at that that little pinky purpley thing. We just ordered some tea. And it is as good as I had hoped. And I got some soy milk. And this is just delicious. Hey guys, I thought I would try and start off this outfit of the day in a slightly different position because it's getting really repetitive, the kind of format that I've been filming it in. Yesterday it was 35 degrees Celsius and today it is 16 to 17 degrees Celsius. I thought I would take advantage of this cool day and wear my Fenty cropped sweatshirt because soon it'll be too hot to wear it and I feel like I didn't wear as much this winter as I would have liked. Underneath, I'm wearing this black stretchy fit and flare dress. It's sleeveless and has a high mock neck, so it sits really nicely underneath the sweatshirt. And look, I have these new sunglasses. I've actually had them for three months. I just haven't worn them yet, as you can see by the sticker. <laughs> So I need to take that off. Then I'm just wearing some black tights. I'll throw on my black sneakers, same old bag. Let me know what you guys think about kind of showing similar outfits again. I, I was thinking about it today and I'm definitely the type of person to kind of buy things and get quite a lot of wear out of them. 
and I think because of that I tend to do kind of repeat outfits just something I've been thinking about so the plan for today is to go to Ikea I need to pick up one more of these storage boxes I also want to check out the Christmas stuff if it's out yet also I am wearing this Too Faced highlighter today and I find that it only works if I apply it as a highlight over the blush on the high points of my cheeks and I apply it just directly with my finger as I feel like it's quite concentrated that way and it actually looks really nice. Well, you may not be able to see it in this lighting, but yeah, it's definitely there. Oh, that looks cute. And that's what I'm getting, veggie balls. So we have our lunch. I got the veggie balls with chips and a lot of sauce because I didn't want to have to get up again and get extra so I just got an excess of ketchup and mustard. I also got one of these really good little pear drinks. Very tasty. Build your own gingerbread house but peep the ingredients. Seems to be vegan friendly. Definitely gonna have to pick up one of these. So cute and cozy. Oh, they're so cute. That's really cute. Bear and a fox. We thought they didn't have any Christmas stuff, and then we got to the end, and here it all is. And I've got the hiccups. Dime bars were my jam. Freaking love dime bars so much. I wish they would make a vegan version. If they did, I would die happy. trick-or-treating happening here at the shopping center it's so random <laughs> just left ikea now we're taking a little break this is an iced vanilla latte on soy milk and i got this like uh, it was called the healthy brownie it's just a raw brownie with super minimal ingredients and yeah i'm just gonna try and relax even though there's like a bajillion children lining up to get their trick-or-treat bags that's so pretty but so expensive. Ooh. That's so cute, but I just wish it didn't have the brand name on it. <laughs> so cute. This is so cute. Wish I had more friends that went to Disney and they would appreciate this wrapping paper. It's like pink and gold. Today was a success. Let's assemble these boxes. Very minimal assembly required and they have like a bending lid on top so you can kind of just open the top of it and grab stuff out. And these fit perfectly in the shelves above all my hanging clothes. Now I just need to figure out what I'm going to put in it and then I can pop it up into my shelf. There it is. 